Hello, and welcome. Here we are, back again. I've got stuff set up. A uh, little bit of what was going on with the frame rate last time was apparently I was trying to record into 1080p by accident, so yeah. But, uh, got some things set up here. Now, you'll see I have nothing in here. That's because these things I made last time this is how you make the circuit board, which it automatically made itself, which, because it does that, uh, you'll see here in a second. If I clear these out, they're like the other things, they're just ghost items. And that makes a soldering iron, and while that cooks, we're going to need some of these, 36 of them. And there we go. Which... You supply, this is the thermiac fabricator, you fill it with glass, it uses power to melt the glass, and then you got your two redstone, 510, and here's our soldering iron, which is a cool guy. Now the reason why, well I actually need to make some other things, because I'm retarded. I think it's bronze I need to make it out of. One, two, three, four, five. Should be made the exact same way, not you. Oop. What? Oh, it's actually real in this one. Hmm. Bronze! So, we got the soldering iron, and if we right click with the soldering iron, it brings up this. Now, we are want to make a managed farm. Uh, yes, crop farm. That will me make it wheat. And I'm just going to put all four of those in there. I'll show you why later. There we go. Managed farm. Crops times four. But we need to get the farm started. So the first thing we need is farm bricks. We need a total of 36 of them to get started. I'm going to be honest. I have a pre-layout over there, but they may have a bad description. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work as I intend. But uh, the first thing we need is... 310 gears, it's just made from stone gear, tin around it, pretty self-explanatory. You put in one of these farm bricks that I just made, and you get a farm gearbox. And the next thing over, we have a trap door, as well as tin gears. And then you put in a farm brick, and you get a farm hatch. Making two of those, I'll go into these things once we get there. Two glass, tin gear... Put in another farm brick, we get a farm valve, and then uh, fertilizer, which is just appetite with sand around it, and we want 64 of that. Now, I'll explain this here in a second. Whoop. Ah, not what I went, wanted to do. Okay, so, farms are going to require water, so I've made an aqueous accumulator and I've put it down here, but that needs to connect to something. So, we're going to... In order to build one of these, it has to be 3x3x4, three by three by and this stone brick is supposed to be the farmland. I believe that's how it's supposed to work. That's what I understood from it. But I want something I can place the farm valve against at this very second. Now, what I can do now is I should be able to place this in here. Will it connect right away? Yes, it will. Very good. Okay, so, I'm going to put that like that, however, I'm going to put, uh, let's take a path out of here. This is in case I need it. Now, we're going to put one of these farm hatches. The farm valve, as I'm sure you managed to establish now, is used for getting liquids or water in this case, into the machine. The farm hatch is for getting items in. Now, the majority of this machine is going to be made up of just farm bricks, like so. Now, the reason why I'm putting one of the farm hatches on the bottom and why I'm putting one here is for two different reasons. This one will be able to feed out the stuff or feed in the saplings and seeds into the top, whereas the other one, because uh, I'm probably going to be using red power tubes, uh, 
and there's specific uses for them. If you use build craft, it just feeds out properly. I think you still need to feed out the bottom for build craft pipes, but uh, yeah. This is the gearbox. You need the gearbox because what the gearbox does is allows you to actually feed power into it. Which I made an energy tesseract. I'm hoping the farm doesn't murder it by me doing this. And I'm going to move remove these. I'm going to put them just outside of it. Because this should be the terrain of the farm. Or something. So we're going to supply this dude with power. We're going to set him to receive only. Ah, here we go. Uh, by default, it functions as an arboretum, which creates trees. Uh, you see how this says 30? That's actually 30 milliunits. Each fertilizer uh, provides 2,000. And you can see how this says crops. So I'm going to put this in here. And notice this changes to wheat. And this takes 10 fertilizer. 10, or not 10 fertilizer, but 10, uh, 10 out of the 2,000 supplied. And then I've got an infinite source of water because I put that down there. So here's the fertilizer. Now it needs dirt. Why have you already taken some? That's weird. Uh, this is where the dirt goes, I believe. I think one of these is dirt, one of these is the germinator, and then this is the output, I believe. But uh, go over here. We've got plenty of dirt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, blah, 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 numbers. And then seeds. Now, I want to make sure I have an extra seed in here. And the easiest way I can think of is just throw the other ones on the ground while I put one in there. Did I get them both? Yep. Okay. So you get, uh, I think it's 72 plots of land with one of these. Which means I have more than enough seeds currently. Oh, that's not where you go. You go there. Okay. Or don't... Shouldn't this be doing? Oh, it is doing. Okay. There we go. Very good. Now, this spot in the middle should stay free, and I could theoretically put an item tesseract here to feed seeds in, and down on the bottom, I have the other hatch for feeding things out, but... Why is there dirt there? And I have no idea how much power this thing drains. But uh, if you remember the forestry stuff from before, this thing functions as the logger, it functions as the arboretum, it functions as all the farms and the harvesters in one. Shouldn't it have filled that? Yeah, why did it not fill that space? Oh. Uh, oh, actually I have no idea. That's quite strange, I feel. Oh well. I need to go check on my power situation. Hey! Hey! Let me in. Uh, well, if this guy has power, they all have power. Actually, I should check and make sure that some of them aren't jammed. No, no, they appear to all be fine. Good deal. I don't know how much power this takes, but uh, this is going to be... this. I'm doing this because, first of all, I can't see how much food I actually have. So, yeah. And second of all, what is going on here? Why are you open? The rest of them aren't open. Oh. I think it realized, and then it fixed it. So you can build these bigger. The bigger the frame, the bigger the actual, like farmland you can put on it. So, I don't know, I guess that's that with that. I'm going to put this two dirt in here. Move these seeds over. This will slowly fix itself. Okay, so let's go put the rest of this dirt I don't need back. And... I don't need the soldering iron anymore. 
The cool thing about the uh, those things is if you look, these are technically split into four farms, directional based. Uh, fuck. If you look right here, you'll see how it has four different directions. You can actually make each direction a different type of farm. However, in this case, I just wanted wheat farms. So, I got wheat farms. I wonder if the output is just going to automatically feed back into there in the end. I don't know. I'll find out later on. Uh, I don't think I've done really anything other than gotten that set up, so I guess I kind of exhausted my whole plan already. Enderman leaving blocks all over my base. I th think I need to do, like, a proper... I I've decided what I'm going to do for, like, the uh, build craft power. Not build craft. Uh, industrial craft power. I'm going to make solar panels, and I'm going to position them down in here. Uh, on the edge. Because where those four torches are is where I plan to put beacons. However, I should, along the entire edge here, on the same level as the beacons, be able to place solar panels. And then I can put that chunk loader anywhere, including underneath the beacon. So, And I should have plenty enough uh, iron in order to build four beacons. I just need to get the nether stars. Although I'm pretty sure those things will... This thing's like 100 across, so it's like... 10 from each side that beacon effects wouldn't hit, because I believe a full-size uh, beacon pyramid is 80 blocks, roughly. If I know the mechanics. I haven't actually screwed with beacons themselves, too, so I can't really be entirely sure on that. I never sealed that hole up. Oh well. Um, I... Ooh. I just realized that basically means that I've uh, exhausted what I had planned. I kinda. That kinda puts a kink in my plans. A bit. Well, I suppose I could make use of one of these guys. You can go in there. Uh, the other fabricator's in here, anyhow, I believe. Yes, it is. I wonder if I put a fabricator whoa stop that if I put a fabricator next to the bottom of this does that count as a legitimate inventory uh I have wheat somewhere one, two, three. Actually, I don't even need three, I just need one. Oh, stop what you're doing. And do what I tell you to. Hey. The only problem is I'm going to have to wait for this stuff to grow before I can even tell if this is going to work. Yes. She so will make bread. Um, I believe it's... The complaint... I would have thought it can plant 200 things on one piece of fertilizer. Maybe it's just like the rate? I'm not sure how that works. So, yeah. Uh, can I? Oh. Torches. Now, I guess I will wait a little bit to see if things grow on that. What can we do in the meantime? I kind of want to get a better setup for this, but I honestly don't know how I'm going to do that, because, yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, I know what we can do. I wish to make a Wrath Igniter, which means I need... Why won't you tell me how to make Diamond Shard? It's like a block of diamond combined with T. 
TNT? Or... And like obsidian? It's either 5 TNT and 4 obsidian and a block of diamond. Or it's 5 obsidian and 4 TNT. And either way, I need 9 diamonds. In a block. Like so. And then I'm going to need TNT, uh, let's see, five a piece, or is it four a piece? I forget. I don't make TNT enough. Assuming that... I'm just going to assume it's five a piece. That doesn't look quite right. Oh, it is right. Just goes to show you how very little I make TNT. Okay. That should be enough of everything. Won't hurt if I've made extra of anything. I'm going to assume it goes like that. Like that. Like that. Oh. It's four and four. Whatever. Whatever. Go put this TNT away before I accidentally somehow blow something up. Now, I need a... I believe it's the stamper. Craft packet stamper. So a crafting table, a piston, three iron, and four cobble. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Uh, wood. In with the pistons. One, two, three, four. Table, piston, iron. I already had cobble, but I didn't need to take some out. And craft packet stamper. Uh, we'll just put you right here. Now I put you in. Bam! 18 diamond shards. Okay, so then I combine... Oh, I want to, sh to press you. Bind you with a nether brick. Oh, the thingies are over here. Uh, no, not you. I went out and got a bunch of that with my fortune pick, so I could be prepared on fertilizer. But anyhow, Wrath Igniter. Now, these things can be very dangerous if you're not careful. And as such, we're going to go over here, where it's safe. And basically build a box out of nether brick. This will both ensure that the wrath flame does not die out all that quickly. And it's pretty much the only way to guarantee that it won't spread. And you do not want it to spread. Ever. Oop. Stop that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this will all become very clear as to why I'm doing it here shortly. Soon as I remember what the hell I was doing myself. Okay, so. Light the flame in there. Ooh. And then if we take a block of iron and place it next to the fire, it gets burnt, turns into a block of dark iron. And I really should use the turtle for grabbing that because it's safer. But then you can take that and uncraft it into dark iron ingots, at which point you can use those. I pressed U. Uh, this is just kind of like a bag thing that's not really necessary. Uh, the router is... It can be... it Basically, it allows you to ma like put things into barrels without pipes. So it'd probably be the ideal barrel setup. But... I Okay, that's weird. I just realized that it has it showed up in different ways. And then there's different upgrades for those. But these are good. This is really good. I think I thought there was something else I wanted to use it for. Maybe not. That makes the bag of holding bigger, I believe. But I want an interdimensional barrel. Stop that. I forgot how to make it already. Two blaze rods, one piece of leather. 
Okay, one. One, two. Uh, I needed a piece of leather, which I believe there's one in the miscellaneous chest. There's two of them in there, actually. And I need a barrel. And go. Barrel. No, that's not right. Why do I only have one blaze rod? No, seriously. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I heard it. Yep. Weird. Those go there, that goes there, that, 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 that. Barrel upgrade. Okay, so I, the first place I need it is right there. And now I can go up here. That barrel can now hold 1,024 stacks. So this is unnecessary. Uh, what am I going to put up there is the question. Do I have anything else? I could put... Let's just temporarily put basalt in there. Bam! Basalt. Cool deal. Uh, let's go check on the farm. Stop that! Stupid game! Uh, we currently have no output. Cheating. Hey, you! Uh, there is one... There's no wheat in there. Where did the wheat go? Why is... Why is all of the wheat gone? Um, I'm slightly concerned. The seeds did automatically go back in there, but where did the wheat go? It's not my inventory. It's not in here. Uh-oh. Uh, uh... Uh, I might have broken it. Oh, good. It's not completely broken. However, I'm still wondering where that wheat went. How about... We just do this a little bit safer... Do I have a chest? Chest, 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 chest. No. I've got a barrel. Although, that's not really a good idea either. Uh, against my better judgment, I think I'm going to have to make a barrel. Barrel? Not barrel. Chest. Not you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. 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 God, arg. Arg. Chest. Uh, we need a buildcraft pipe. you, and let's take some more of those while we're at it. Hey! Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I am going to be buying a new motherboard for my computer soon. Uh, the one I've had has not agreed with me ever. So, yeah, I'm just going to chalk that up to it hating me. Are you going to output? into that chest. Yes it is. Uh, 
All right. And then the seeds themselves should just keep filling back into here until this is full. Um, what it does with the seeds afterwards, I haven't quite established with yet. But, that is of no consequence. Oh, right. I forgot. I set this up temporarily with this, so it was creating stone bricks and then feeding them back in. So we'll just take these. Okay, seriously? Just stay somewhere out of my way. Now, I'm not going to want this guy configured quite yet. Ooh. Oh, I broke it. It's okay, it already fixed it. Mostly. Now, what exactly was I planning on doing with this? Going to need a chest. Chest. No. Actually, I will take that. Uh, why am I in this chest? Okay. I'm just gonna go throw the wheat down in that thing just because. I forgot what I was doing there for a second. Oh, whatever. I need a piece of wood. You can actually make an iron chest directly like so. Oh, no, no, that's that's a normal iron upgrade. I lied. Don't listen to me. Okay. What? I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. So I should probably hurry up with what I think I'm doing and don't know I'm doing. And then call this guy. Because I've been awake for a while. Plus I did a bunch of cleaning up around the house today because it was a disaster area. What kind of weird threshold am I crossing? Or does it have to do with the... Well, that's fucked. Uh, we'll put you there. Oh, I seem to trap myself. One, two, three, four, five, six. There was an extra pipe that didn't need to be there and would have broken everything. No! 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 Actually, that'll work. Items in inventory, energy pulse. Oh, I can reach it. Why is it outputting dirt? Whatever. Oh, from when I accidentally trampled it. Because otherwise it wouldn't need to replace the dirt. I gotcha. Do 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 I don't know why I have this linking book. See now here's Actually I'm just gonna wait for all of that to get in there. This will automatically make me food. It shouldn't have any output other than when it gets filled with seeds or something. But the moment as you can see it just disappeared instantly because my armor's actually stealing the food but it's got like a huge like food buffer that it just keeps feeding me from so cuz i seriously haven't like done anything with food in a while but when it when i first put the auto feeder in i had like i don't know 30 steak or something so yeah but now I have an infinite source of food. And it's completely automated on the making me bread process. 
which makes things even better. And I have an advanced barrel for my coal. And yeah, I have a bit. Oh God, I have quite a bit of uh, ores as well. Yeah. I have enough coal though to make I think it's like I forget how it's like 24 stacks or something you need in order to make a high voltage solar panel. And I honestly don't use my coal for anything at this point. Which seems a bit cheaty, but what are you going to do? I'm glad that I don't actually need to pipe the seeds back in. That's always helpful. And I'm also glad that by breaking that one block, I didn't completely destroy everything. And go oh, sorry about that. Bit of a hiccup. Including the circuit board. So. Although, I seem to have left a gaping hole in the ground. And I built an actual kind of pathway over to here. I've been slowly working on trying to get this place built. Although, more and more I'm beginning to think that basalt was a terrible idea. And I'm actually thinking about making this place feel a lot more cramped by just feeding the uh, like, for example, building this into the mountain. So it looks like all this stuff was carved out of it. And it also means that all these things can remain open and I can just put in, like, an access door or something. And then that allows me to... Like, I'm still going to leave this middle area open. Sort of. Or something. It's going to be fairly open. More open than the rest of it. Like, it might go up to, like, here or something. At which point... Then there will be this, and it will just kind of come down or something? I, I'm i not sure. I have no idea what I'm doing with this mountain at this point. I do know that I do know that my mouse isn't on the right setting. Whenever you first log in things are considered toggled on but they're not actually on. As you can see. For example, it says flight control off but it wasn't on. It's on now. And night vision! Woo! That farm takes up considerably less space than I had previously anticipated. It's also slightly slower than I had hoped. And I don't think there's a way to make it faster. I'm not sure. Fertilizer? No. No, um, mod, actually I could just click it here, forestry, tap, rainmaker, forester, no, none of those sound right, or are they, oh god, that's expensive, don't even want to touch it. Huh. Ugh. The yawning's starting to get a little excessive, so I think I'm just gonna call this good here, just doing a quick look over to see if... Yeah, I don't know. And things are still amazingly bugged. For example, it's telling me that power armor comes from forestry. Good job, NEI. You so smart. You know, I don't know why I was manually putting things in there. I made this bag just so I wouldn't have to worry about it. I am a genius. Okay, so... I think that is definitely good enough for now. I'm probably going to go to bed shortly after this because my sleep schedule is completely screwed. It's, it's currently 2 p.m. and I am tired as hell. Because my sleep schedule is all screwed up. 
and cleaning up and performing the physical labor of moving stuff around did not help the whole staying awake thing. And look how many fucking gems I have. Look at all this Zycorium. Who needs that much Zycorium? Who needs that much iron? I wish I had more of that. And that. I could go get that, though. As for the rest of it, like... I'm actually starting to run out of things that I need to build. Because I've got food. I've got lasers. I've got machines. I've got a small processing center for the ores. Even though I haven't been processing them, because I haven't needed them. I've kind of done many things, and I need to find something else to do. And I don't really want to do Thaumcraft, because I've already been down that road in a single-player thing a while before. So, yeah. What? What is this? Ender Tank? What? Dimensional fucking liquid, I guess? I'm not sure. That's pretty crazy. The fuck are these? What the f fuck? What are you used for? Uh, how are you made? Can I use you to make the Gravisweet? It appears not. I mean, I could always go play with Railcraft. I've got enough materials for that, for sure. Uh, oh. This is one thing I could play with. Modular force field system. It's, it's a bit spendy to make stuff, though, and I need more machines. Well, maybe not. Because you make these in the compressor. And you make these in the compressor. You make these normally. And I believe four ceiling. Let's see. You can smelt it for four. Power for four. Pulverizer eight. Macerator eight. Okay, so they fixed that. So you actually get the proper number out of a like the same amount out of a pulverizer as you do a macerator. These are all easy enough. I'm gonna have to do some rubber stuff, and I might set up a rubber tree farm using the same method as the other one. Although that's a bit of a pain. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah. Oh, God. These things get... Okay. I've had enough of this. I'm getting... Uh, I'm clearly extremely tired, so... I'll just continue this thought process next time, if I remember it. So, uh... For, like, the fourth time... <laughs> I'm gonna call this good for now. I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.